I was about five years old, I believe, and this is from what I remember. I got into the car with my dad and he didn't really tell me where I was heading. Like it was just me in the car, and which was pretty unusual and I didn't know myself. He just said, you know, uh, what did we have? I don't even think we had boots. And he took me to his, his club that he grew up with, which was West Adelaide Hellas. And he spoke to one of the, uh, the presidents there, which he knew. And literally I started training without even, I, I walked up to the team, introduced, I got introduced by the coach and all that sort of stuff. And then I was literally just training with them. And I, I believe they were two years above me. Um, so I was quite small and yeah. Obviously playing my whole junior career at West Adelaide Hellas. Um, I was playing two years above, um, versing people older than me, uh, bigger than me, stronger than me. And I think I, I adapted pretty well at a, at a young age. So eventually played uh, further and further. And by the time we were playing under 18s, which was uh, two teams under the senior team, um, yeah, I was only 15, so coming up against you know 18 year olds and all that sort of stuff. And the coach at the time was a senior, the senior team captain, and uh, eventually became the senior coach after that year. So my career, I, my junior career, I skipped 18. Oh, I played 18, skipped reserves, and then went straight into the first team. So my debut was 15 years old, um, and then I think. Throughout my senior career, after that, I was within the first team, played a season, only one season there, and we won the championship. Um, and then I think just before the championship series, Adelaide United offered me uh, the contract to join their youth team. Um, the boys actually eventually did win the championship series without me, so it wasn't just all me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so joined Adelaide United under Michael Volcanis and um, Ange Costanzo, two ex-Adelaide United players, and um, they've you know, gone to newer heights. I, think, I know Michael Volcanis is assistant coach of, uh, or was the assistant coach of the Greek national team. Um, so they saw a, quite a bit of potential. Um, I think I was there for about two seasons. And then once Michael Volcanis left for Melbourne City, there was a, a coach that was hired called Mark Jones. And Mark Jones, after that f f uh, one year with the youth team, got a coach, uh, coaching role at Newcastle Jets. And then that's how I got my move to, to Newcastle. Well, I spoke to uh, Ruben and, uh, and Andy before, uh, prior to my move and um, I was at Western Sydney at the time and, you know, they were recruiting a lot of players and I spoke to Ruben, Andy quite a lot over the, you know, two week period and it just sounded like their plan for this, you know, new, new rebuild was, it was very, I don't know, just caught my attention, you know, and he said that I was, or could be a, you know, a, a good part of the puzzle. Um, and yeah, you know, I hadn't been to Perth. I spoke to a couple of players that recently were here. And they said it was a lovely place, which you know now I can see why they said it. I hadn't been here recently, only just for away trips. Um, but yeah, it it has definitely paid out. I'm a Man United fan, and um, I did enjoy watching Skulls play, especially when he played for for England as well in the Euros and all that sort of stuff. But my Australian soccer idol would have to be uh, Bresciano. Because I, like when we were watching the games as a, as a kid, my dad always loved him as well. So he was a midfielder, box to box, which where I played you know, predominantly for the whole of my junior career. Um, so yeah, those are the two. I do, I do have game day underwear, which are hanging on by a thread. I also do, I, I make sure I have to stretch my socks over my knees. 
before they go on, just so they're a bit looser. I love it. Mas uh, Macedonia Park is, it doesn't, f it doesn't feel like a safe place to, to be for like, the away team coming. Like it, the, cr the crowd's right on top of you, close to the fence, you know. And it's just a hard trip overall, you know, and when they come to Macedonia Park, the change rooms like aren't updated, you know, which I'd like them to be, but you know, it works in our favour. Whatever works for us, it, it does work. Um, you know, the pitch is immaculate, like people look at it, I even look at it from the side and I'm like, you know, this doesn't even feel like an, like a, an MPL ground. Usually they're full of mud and whatever, but they've actually done a really good job of sustaining the quality of like level of, uh, of grass and yeah, it's just really good. It's, it's a good vibe to be at, you know, I'm, I'm excited every time we go there, like I actually can't wait to, to get there on Saturday.